Thanks for checking out Hook'em.com. I'm Danny Davis. This is Brian Davis. And for the first time this season, we are reporting from Royal Memorial Stadium after a loss. West Virginia heading back to the East Coast, the 24-20 victory over the Longhorns. A loss that drops Texas' record to 5-5. Five and five. and while 5-5 five and five isn't the best numbers, uh, Brian, is this team getting better? Are they getting worse? Where's this Texas team at right now? I'm going to say yes. This team is showing progress. 5-5, five and five, I know that doesn't sound great. And I know there are some people that expect 10 and 0 at this point. I get that. I totally get that. But if you are really watching this team the last three weeks, and especially on Saturday, this is a team getting better. Let's start with the offense real quick. Shane Bouchel with his first 300-yard game. Deontay Foreman ties uh, Earl Campbell's record with his 11th 100-yard rushing game. But Danny, the defense is my area of where I think the unit is really showing progress under Charlie Strong. Yeah, you know, just look at that third quarter alone. They had three interceptions. P.J. Locke had one. Dylan Haynes had two that actually moved them up to fifth place uh, mm-hmm. all time in the record books. And, you know, the last three weeks, they ha- they didn't look spectacular, you know, number-wise against Baylor, against Texas Tech, but they made stops they needed to. Absolutely. Today, they had three, you know, four turnovers overall against a pretty good West Virginia team. So they are making the strides they need to make. It's just a matter of getting everything to uh, come together uh, right. at one time, which kind of leads us into our next segment. Texas offense only scored seven points off those four turnovers, mm-hmm. which is kind of unacceptable in a game like this against a top-ranked team like uh, West Virginia. What what do they need to do to get better? Well, to hear Shane Bouchel tell it, they need to execute. And Sterling Gilbert says, well, we've got to execute. If someone would execute the executioner, then there would be some execution going on around here, right? And there was a lot of executing, you Even know. For a state like Texas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think that what these guys need to do, quite frankly, is just – really focus on just making the grinding out plays. I mean, I didn't I didn't think they took enough deep shots today. They really didn't. Of course, there wasn't a lot of time for Shane Bouchel. He faced the most pressure today that he's faced all season long. Got absolutely smashed at the 20-yard line, which led to a fumble, which was a very tough play at that time. But still, though, when you've got the nation's leading rusher and you've got some guys like Colin Johnson, uh, Devin DuVernay, uh, some Jake Oliver is another dependable target. Just start grinding it out. You know, don't don't go for the home run balls, and that's where you're going to get some points. Off yeah. these turnovers. You know, and offensively, you know, Dorian Leonard had a pretty good game mm-hmm. today. I think career high in uh, receiving yards. They went for it twice on fourth down and gave it to Deontay Foreman, which was a you know thing we've been talking a lot about. Absolutely. So, yeah, they. I think this team is uh, moving forward, and they're you know people are going to be disappointed by this loss, but you know there's some things to be happy about too. Real quick prediction: as long as this team does not melt down the next two weeks. They win at, at Kansas or TCU, and they qualify for a bowl. Charlie Strong is back in 2017. I would think that is a good, good prediction. Thanks for checking out Hook'em.com. We will see you next week in Lawrence.